What's up everybody? Welcome to Do It Justice. On last week's adventure video, you saw us move into the RV, experience our first week of full-time RV living, and all of the challenges that came along with it. Today, we want to share with you the story of our first off-grid boondocking experience. After leaving Missouri, we headed east to Illinois. This was it. We had spent the last year and a half equipping our home to be able to take us off-grid by installing solar panels and a composting toilet. And this was the big test to see if we could make it out in the middle of nowhere. We went to the first national forest along that route. It was Shawnee National Forest in Southern Illinois. It was April. The leaves and the flowers were starting to bloom and the farmers were out in full force. Once we were close to our destination, we made sure to fill up our fresh water tank. This would be the water we'd use to drink, take showers, cook, and do dishes with. We had no idea how long this tank would last us, but we were about to find out. We researched and found a few places where you're allowed to dry camp, and decided on the one with by far the coolest name, Whoopi Cat Lake. As we drove into the forest, we quickly realized that there was no cell phone service. That meant we had no GPS, and being the technology-dependent millennials we are, it made it much more challenging to get there. I have zero idea where we're going. All I know is we're hopefully going in the right direction. But really, we didn't care where we were going. We were free, and that's all that mattered. Somewhere between being lost and finding our destination, we stumbled across this little gem. You dogs want to go out and see the iron furnace? Come on. Wow. This is crazy nuts. I wonder if you can climb up there. Wow. Look at you. As we got deeper into the forest, it got more and more beautiful, and also more remote. Places you never think you'd drive an RV. Some of the roads were even borderline impassable because of giant ruts and washouts. I don't know if we can make it over that. Oh, we can totally make it over this. We honestly didn't know what to expect or what was around the next bend, but at the end of the road, we finally saw it. This is awesome. This is wild. I can't believe we're actually out here doing this. Where are we, baby? We're at Whoopi Cat Lake. So there we were, in this absolutely beautiful, stunning, serene place that was now our backyard. Now I know what you're probably thinking, this is going to be such an amazing and relaxing vacation. And it was, but this was also the week before we launched our YouTube channel, and we had a ton of work to do. We really didn't have time to mess around. <laughs> but seriously, we spent many hours every day working and editing, but we also knew it was important to take time to live in the moment. We were able to explore the area with the dogs, and they absolutely loved all the smells. We drove our moped through some of the most remote forest trails we had ever seen, and even stumbled across some really old and really eerie cemeteries. So there was something about this first boondocking experience that kind of felt like we were in the twilight zone. Maybe it was the vulnerability we felt from the lack of cell phone service, or knowing just how alone we were. Or maybe it was the nights that were darker than dark, and the unfamiliar animal sounds that echoed off the lake during the midnight storms. It's a torrential downpour, and it is lightning and thundering, and it's all sorts of cool. And we are in the middle of a forest, a national forest, with 
zero people around, zero cell phone service, and it's so exciting. It is kind of freaky, but it's really, really fun. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Good morning. Good morning, puppers. We couldn't believe how gorgeous this place was, and that we were camping here for free. We weren't just surrounded by nature, we were part of it. When boondocking, you wake up with the sun, and you go to bed with it at night. We learned quickly that we conform to nature, and not the other way around. We're about to do a little fishing. See if we can get a bite. This experience had so much excitement, beauty, fear, and exhilarating joy all bundled together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we created memories we'll never forget. And we felt and still feel so blessed to live in such a beautiful country where we're free to go and create our own adventures. Not catching anything, so let's get dinner started. Did we get any better than this? When all was said and done, our 40-gallon supply of fresh water lasted us about five days. On next week's adventure, join us as we soar to new heights and sink to new lows as we continue our cross-country journey through Kentucky and Tennessee. Thank you all so much for watching, and as always, we'll see you on the next video. Bye! If a tree falls in the forest, but no one's around to hear it, does it make a sound? <laughs>